So let's see if I lucked out here or if I've just wasted my money. I don't know. We shall see. Hey guys. So today has been a pretty busy, crazy day. As I'm filming this, I'm also working on reorganizing my room. But anyways, not only do I have that whole situation going on, I also received in the mail today my most recent win from eBay. Hit that like button if you like shopping for puzzle lots on eBay. And if so, let me know what was the best deal that you snagged. And I have been trolling through eBay for the longest now trying to find some really good deals on some puzzle lots. For the most part, for some reason, they haven't been that great, at least to me in terms of budget. But I was so glad that I just so happened to come across this particular lot when I did because I couldn't believe how cheap the starting bid was. So I haven't actually opened it yet. We're going to open it together. But let me just give you a little background as to what this is. Now the listing title was Hometown Collection Heronym Seaside Themed Puzzle Lot of Four. So we got four puzzles in here today and they are used. And the seller noted that this was in as found condition and that it was from a puzzle collector estate sale. And the seller also stated that he assumed that all the pieces were present. Now with that, and judging from the pictures that he provided on the listing, it looked like it was probably going to be a good lot. And what was fantastic about this one was the starting bid was at $1. Now, towards the end of the listing, I went into a little bit of a bidding war and I ended up winning the auction for $6. And of course, you know, I was too excited about it because $6 for four puzzles. I mean, that's a great buy. Shipping was $8.64. So with my winning bid of $6 plus shipping and tax, my total for four used puzzles was $15.53. But hey, to me, $15, you can't go wrong. And these sets are from a brand that I don't currently own. So that was even more exciting to me. But anyways, enough talk. I gave you all the background. Let's open this up together and let's see how these actually look in terms of whether they look the same as they did in the pictures and whatnot. So let's see if I lucked out here or if I've just wasted my money. I don't know. We shall see. I really need to use scissors properly. I'm going to end up hurting myself. They have an interesting smell to them. I don't know what that smell is. You know. You know, I do realize when you buy used puzzle lots on eBay, you, you know, you're kind of taking a risk. Because for one, you don't know if you're getting all the pieces. But I mean, I know. Again, that's the case with even brand new puzzle sets. But you don't know exactly what condition they're going to be in. If it's going to be you know, what you actually see in the pictures, or, you know, if it's going to be a total shambles. So far, these have an interesting smell to them, which is something that I didn't consider when I, you know, placed a bid on this auction. I mean, these look fine so far, but who knows? I might open the box up and a bunch of moths will fly out. I don't know. I, I hope not. He packed it really well, so that's good. So... I might have to let them air out a bit outside. I don't know. But anyways, so let's see what we have here. So all these sets are from the brand Mega. And they are from the Hometown Collection series by the artist Heronym. And our first one is After the Rain. It is 1,000 pieces and it is 18 by 26 and 3 quarter inches when it's completed. So the box doesn't look too bad. It's, it looks pretty solid. It's holding up well. It's not bent. All we have is just some, you know, tears here from when the owner opened it, obviously, because, you know, he wanted to do his puzzles, too. So let's open this up real quick and hope that no moths fly out of this. Oh, the inside box has some damage. Oh, shutting a little bit. Okay, so it looks like this got cut at some point when he opened the box. And all the pieces inside are loose, as you can see. So, you know, I guess the only way we'll know if everything is in here is obviously when we start putting it together, right? So let's hope for the best. This doesn't really strike me as a very strong puzzle. Probably wasn't very expensive when they were bought brand new. But I don't know. You guys let me know if you have any of these puzzle sets from Mega 
And how much did you pay for them? Did, did I actually get a good deal on this? I don't know. Oh, I'm already dropping pieces. So yeah, so um, yeah, so far I'm getting a little bit nervous about this one. Cause you know, these pieces are kind of falling out of it pretty easily. I just dropped another one. Now, aside from the fact that the box is really not in excellent condition, I'm probably gonna have to transfer these pieces into a plastic bag just to make sure, you know, they don't fly out every time I touch it. But I mean, look at this image here. This is absolutely adorable. I love this artwork. This kind of looks like a school building, to be honest, and the kids are outside playing with their kites. These, these kids look like they're having a blast. It obviously stopped raining and the rainbow is out. It's a beautiful day now. Why not take advantage with your kites? It's a very cute image. So our next one here, and hopefully it's in better condition, is called Morning in Maine. And this one is also 1,000 pieces and it is 18 by 26 and 3 quarter inches when it's completed. Now this is interesting because I just noticed something on this box. This says rose art on the side. Our first one after the rain said mega on it. So I'm not really sure if these were the same company at one point or the series kind of transferred to rose art. I'm not sure. But I mean, again, we have another beautiful image here. And what do you know? There I am with a random dog next to me, just waiting for the milkman to deliver my milk. I must say the view from my house is absolutely beautiful. You got the lovely seaside, you got the boats in the background, you got a nice lighthouse as well. It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. This looks so peaceful. Let's open this one up and see what the condition of this box is. At least this one doesn't have a gaping hole on the side. It does have a very weird smell though. Maybe it's just like an old musty smell. I don't know. I'm just hoping I don't wake up tomorrow and my room is infested with some random strange bugs or something. I'm probably gonna leave a window open. But you know, that's really something to consider when you're shopping through p listings on eBay. You know, you don't really know what you're gonna get. You know, you do get pictures of the image, but you know, unfortunately you can't smell the image. It smells kind of sour. Maybe the milkman delivered me spoiled milk. I don't know. Let's see what the third one is like. Ooh, this one's pretty. We have another beautiful day here. And this one is called Seattle. It is also 1,000 pieces. And once again, 18 by 26 and 3 quarter inches when it's completed. And this one does say that it's from Mega as well. So, so far we got two Megas and a Rose Art. I don't know if they were once the same company, but it doesn't really matter at this point. What a fun image though. Obviously we have the town here. This is probably like the main street or something. This looks like a street I would be hanging out on. Well, look, there I am on my horse and carriage and everyone else here is just going about their day. We got a lot going on here, but let's open this one up and let's see what the condition of these pieces and this box is in general. Well, we seem to have another casualty here. Oh, look, and obviously the puzzle collector did complete this puzzle and he didn't fully take it apart. So we'll make sure that when we start this one, we take those pieces apart because I don't like to feel like I'm cheating. But with this one, I'm also gonna put them all in a plastic bag because uh, this little box here is making me a little nervous in terms of its condition. But so far what I'm seeing with these three boxes is that the pieces themselves are in pretty good condition from, you know, from what I can see offhand. But I definitely feel like this one is gonna be a fun one to do. I'm really loving these images. This series is really my kind of style. And for our last one, we have, oh wow, this one's really busy looking. This one is called Castle Country. And once again, it is 1000 pieces and 18 by 26 and three quarter inches when it's completed. And this one also says that it is from Rose Art. That's two for two now. And check out the top of this box here. It does have its original price tag. This collector bought this set from KB Toys. And I actually remember shopping at KB Toys back when I was a kid. I grew up in New York City and I only ever remember there being only one location of KB Toys and it was like on Broadway on the Upper West Side. I don't even think KB Toys exist anymore. I mean, does any toy store exist anymore? But anyways, the collector got this at three sets for $10. I mean, I don't really think you see deals like this nowadays for puzzle sets. I wish I could find deals like that for brand new sets now. But once again, 
we have another great image here. The day is passing by and everybody is going about their business. I'm pretty sure I'm somewhere in this farmer's market looking for bargains. I love good deals on food too. The one thing that's very confusing to me in this image is the fact that there seems to be a group of zebras just walking along the hill here towards the castle. Zebras are probably the last animals that I would expect to have in this kind of environment, but I mean, you know, Harinim is the artist. He can do whatever he wants. Maybe he likes zebras, I don't know. Let's open this up and let's see what this box is looking like. All right, thankfully this box is in good condition. So I feel a little bit more confident that we probably have all of our pieces here. And again, you know, these pieces, I'm not spotting anything that looks questionable or bent or broken. The images seem to be still intact on everything. And really the boxes are not that bad. And I mean that in regards to like the front of it, the sides. The only thing that's a bit iffy to me on, on a couple of these is the bottom part because some of them are broken on the side and you know, the pieces keep falling out. So I'm crossing my fingers that for the most part, well, not for the most part, I, I hope all the pieces are there. It would kind of suck to kind of be in the middle of completing a puzzle and realizing you're missing pieces. That's yet to happen to me, and I, I hope it never does. I'm, I'm sure it will one day, but oh my goodness, that's going to be so crushing for me. So, I mean, overall, I kind of feel like I got a pretty good deal here. Aside from the fact that I'm probably going to need to air these outside for a bit to kind of get the stench out. Again, I'm not too sure what the actual value is of this brand or how much they would typically go for if you were to buy them brand new. But, I mean, I feel like for $15... You're getting each puzzle for less than five bucks. And that was including shipping too. So again, I kind of feel like this is a pretty good deal that I got here. I just kind of need to do something about the smell because it's kind of giving me a headache. But other than that, I think these sets are going to be really fun to put together because they're absolutely beautiful. And here's to hoping that all the pieces are still there. But judging from the condition of these boxes, for the most part, I feel like the puzzle collector really cared about his collection. Because really, the, the outside main top part of this box, of all the boxes, they, they look really good. Nothing is like peeling, nothing's bent. The boxes are all in good shape, you know, aside from a couple of the bottoms ones. But, you know, for the most part, you know, they're pretty good. Let me know down below if you have any of these sets or any of the sets from this collection or this series. And if so, let me know how much you paid for them. Did I actually get a good deal here with this puzzle lot on eBay or, you know, or did the seller pull a fast one on me? Oh my God, the smell is on my hands. So I suggest if you haven't already, you should take a look on eBay and see what kind of auctions they have. And sometimes you just might get lucky on a really good listing. Because I wasn't too familiar with this brand, this collection, I think I set myself a cap of like $7. So I was glad it wasn't more than that in the end. But always make sure you set yourself a cap when you're doing an auction. Just to kind of keep you from going haywire on how much you're going to spend in the end. And that goes especially, in my opinion, for used puzzle lots. Because again, you might end up with a really good win or get something totally you didn't expect in the end. I would say the worst thing about my win here is the smell. But I'm sure with some time outside, they can air out a bit and it'll be fine in the end. So now that I have four more puzzle sets to add to my humongous collection that I'm staring at right now, right in the middle of my room, now I need to go about organizing my room and putting everything back where it belongs. So anyways, I'm gonna get back to organizing my disaster of a room and here's to hoping that I get it all done tonight but I hope you're all doing well and I will see you in the next one